I'm Robert Turbin, running back for the Seattle Seahawks, and I represent Field Goal. Welcome back to SB Nation. I'm Amy K. Nelson. And joining me right now is new Seattle Seahawks running back, Robert Turbin. Thanks for being here. So when you got that call and you were told that you were going to be a Seattle Seahawk, what was sort of the first thing that ran through your mind? Uh, you know, I was, I was, you know, just wow, really. Uh, and it's crazy how the draft works because the only time I talked to Seattle was at the combine. You know, we had a 15-minute conversation. Uh, and that was it. And that was in February. The combine was in February. There was no contact with my agent. My agent hadn't talked to him. If you asked me if I was going to get drafted to the Seahawks, probably, you know, I'd say there's no chance. Uh, but they called me. They wanted me. They were excited to have me. Uh, you know, which, which put a huge smile on my face, obviously. I've been in Seattle before, really love the city, uh, so I was excited to go. That's what I was going to ask you. What are your impressions of the city? What are some of the things you like about it? It's really good. You know, people tell me that it's, it, it's gloomy because it rains, it rains a lot, you know. It hasn't rained any of the times that I was there, but I'm expecting it sooner or later. It's going to happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, but right now, I mean, you know, it's the summer, the sun's out, everything's green. I mean, our practice facility is right by the water, and you see people out there fishing all the time. It's a great scenery where we're at. You've got a head coach, Pete Carroll. What are your impressions of him? Uh, he's just a guy that likes to go, and he loves to compete. I think he's a, he's a great coach, and, uh, you know, he's going to help this team win football games, in my opinion. Uh, he, he's all about competition, like I mentioned, everything we do, is, is, is a competition. You're going up against the next guy. He challenges us to be perfect. Everything is sharp, everything is fast, everything is crisp. The one thing that, uh, that I had to get used to quick was the first day at minicamp, I never ran so much during the football practice before. Everything was constantly moving, and, that, and that's how Coach Carroll is. He's a guy that's constantly moving. He's constantly, you know, on edge trying to get stuff done. He's a great, he's a great coach. So you got to be paying attention, and you got to be ready. You got to, exactly. So being a back, how have you viewed Marshawn Lynch as a player? Uh, I thought he was a great player, to be honest with you. I remember watching him when he was at Cal, you know, because Cal is right up the road from where I'm from where I grew up and uh, it's funny because my college teammates would tell me that there's this move that I always do and the more I watch film of myself the more I notice it I'm like I do that move all the time I got it from Marshawn Lynch when he played Oregon at, at, when he was at Cal it was a game against Oregon he put a move on the corner and I said I'm gonna use that move what's the move I, I can't even explain it it's like a, I'm gonna cut inside but I'm really not and I'm gonna go outside kind of move you know what I mean he kind of I don't know he just made the corner like go in a circle and I was like I gotta learn how to do that so you, that was a conscious thing though you saw that and you're yeah. like I gotta learn how to do that yeah I took that move from him a lot of a lot of stuff I took from him watching that one game that's pretty amazing considering where you're at right now then. yeah I think it'd be a great opportunity for me to learn even more I mean he's, he's a guy that is a, a veteran obviously been in the league five six years uh, he's had a great season. He's had a great career so far um, and he's only going to get better which in turn I believe will make me better coming coming out of, out of college and, and, and being a rookie. Be able to learn a lot. For people who don't know you and your story and, and who you are as a person, what could you tell them to give them sort of a, a synopsis of, of who you are and where you're from? You know I think of myself as a, it's kind of weird, it may not make any sense, but think of myself as a thinker and a dreamer. I'm always thinking about something and I'm always dreaming about my next move and what I want to accomplish next. Well, just on a day-to-day -day basis, I have goals that'll, you know, that I probably won't be able to achieve in, you know, in, you know, until like, you know, 10 years or something like that. I think everybody has that. You know, when I was 10 years old, I wanted to be a football player. That's a goal that I didn't reach until 12 years later. I'm always trying to trying to see how can I improve. So what's your current dream? My current dream mm -hmm. right now? Right now. Is to get out of here and go back to Seattle so I can learn my offense. I'm just excited to play. Maybe get some beast mode on? Get some beast mode on. <laughs> learn from the beast mode. <laughs> learn from the beast <laughs> mode. Okay, well, Robert Turner, thank you so much yeah. for joining us today. No problem.